So I get a call one day from uh, Grateful Dead camp. I think it was Bob, Bob Weir that mentioned, hey, it might be nice to get Alvarez involved and see if we can do something with them. And um, they asked us if we'd be interested in making a 50th anniversary guitar. I said, yes, straight away. I kind of had this very clear vision for one guitar in my mind, which was kind of psychedelic sort of fully tattooed instrument incorporating most of the kind of um, iconic dead artwork or characters, colours, etc. And um, there's various ways to do that. So we wanted to make something which was unique, had never be really been done in the guitar world, so to speak, but it was affordable. We learned how to silk and screen print onto cedar. So usually, you know, a guitar top will come out of um, out of seasoning, and it goes in the factory, and it starts getting bracing put on there, and rosette cut in, and all that type of thing. Now the tops come out of seasoning, and we we seal them, we seal the wood, and then they're driven like 30 miles to uh, screen printers, and we do this four color process. The only way we do it is we, we, we nurture it and we treat this like a baby going through through the factory. From gloves to, to mats to putting things down, of course we never put it the wrong way and it's just tread as though it's it's kind of gold dust. What's cool or what we thought was cool was um, all this brown or yellowish brown colour is actually the cedar. So the, the grain comes through the paint. Because every piece of wood is different, even the colour is slightly different, obviously the grain pattern is different. Every top is different, so every one of these guitars will be very, very slightly different. So it has our FST2 bracing, which is a forward ship that uh, we call FST Type 2. Some great scalloping going on, so they sound fantastic. It has a solid western red cedar top. And mahogany backs and sides, mahogany neck. We did little Grateful Dead things like um, 12th fret inlays, a lightning bolt. We even for a little dancing bear on the back of the headstock, which is cool. And, and made them sound balanced, warm and open. So, you know, we want these guitars out there, like all of our guitars, played and gigged and, and shared and music written on them, etc. We took them to the Grateful Dead and their people and um, we showed them, we, you know, did we do okay? And it was thumbs up and, and uh, off we go.